Hey, how's it going? So I figured with Halloween coming around the corner, let's go over the Halloween vintage masks that are sold at Spirit Halloween. Okay, so I think I have the complete wave, but you guys let me know if I'm missing something. I know I'm missing the vintage robot mask. I'm not sure if it was specifically a part of this collection, but let me know. But let's go ahead and go over these. I'll be pulling these out at random, so this is no specific order. The first one I've got is the vintage werewolf mask. This one right here. They actually have a little doll sold at Spirit Halloween that has the same face as this, and it howls. I have that as well. It's really cool. These masks are really affordable, and they look really cool on the wall. $12.99. I mean, you can't beat that. That's great. The next mask I'm going to bring up is the Vintage Vampire. Now this one's definitely up there as one of my favorites. This is a really cool mask. I originally got these so I could hang them up on the wall. I just haven't gotten to it yet. That's why they have tags. But I'm going to hang them up on the wall. I'm not going to use them for Halloween. I mean, I may, may not. I'm not sure yet. I mean, you never know. The next one I'm going to show you is this Phantom Skull Mask. This one is really cool as well. I love the green. I love the artwork on it. These are all made of plastic, so they will break if you don't take care of them, if you stack stuff on top of them and stuff like that. So be sure you take care of them. But don't be afraid to use them for Halloween. They're great masks. Okay, this one's got an interesting name as well. This one is the Vintage Jolly Ghost Mask. I guess because he looks a little happy. This one's really cool. It's not up there as my favorite, but it does look like a vintage ghost and it does the job. So I'll definitely be hanging this one up on the wall as well with all the rest of my decor. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you two of them this time because this is what got me started. I bought these and I became pretty obsessed with buying all the vintage style Halloween masks. These were the first two. That's why the tags are removed. You've got a pumpkin and you've got a vintage cat. This one's very creepy, very awesome. It is the Vintage Mummy. I really like this one too. This one's up there with uh, the Vampire. I really like the color on this with that yellow and that green. I think it looks really good. And I mean, come on, $12.99. That is a great deal for some awesome looking masks. Okay, so I'm sharing these in case you wanna go look for them at Spirit Halloween. If you see one that's your favorite, let me know in the comments. But the next one is going to be the Vintage Ape. I really like this one because of the purple. I mean, they didn't hold back on making these masks look different, you know, with the color and stuff like that. If this one didn't have this purple on there, it probably wouldn't be one of my favorite ones, but it is, it's pretty cool. So this next one might be my favorite one. I don't know yet. I really gotta display them on the wall, but it's the Vintage Cat Mask. I showed you the other one earlier, but this one is a little bit different. It looks a lot sharper. The other one was more of a round face cat, but this one is definitely better than that one. But I mean, I like them both, honestly. Okay, so this one is up there with the vampire and the cat. This is the vintage devil. This one looks really cool. They have a uh, hanging decoration at Spirit Halloween that matches this face, and that looks cool as well. You know, the old school devil, it's very nostalgic. It looks really cool. We saw it in cartoons and stuff like that. This just really reminds me of an older time period. And you can't forget one of the most famous monsters ever created, Frankenstein's monster. This one's definitely one of my favorites, like the cat, devil, and vampire. I really like this mask. I mean, this is like classic monster right here. This one is really cool. All right, and the final mask is going to be the vintage clown mask. This one is very creepy, very cool. I get some Rob Zombie Halloween vibes from it. You know, Michael Myers in the beginning of the movie, he wears a mask very similar to this one, and I think that is really cool. Yeah, I wanted to go ahead and show you the werewolf. Look at that, isn't that funny? That is so cool. Yeah, he makes noises. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Also, let me know if I'm missing any.